if you've watched my previous video, you will know that I bought some CMOS gel. A lot of people said that it's actually cheaper for you to make CMOS yourself if you can get hold of the leaves. So that's what I decided to do. So in this video, I'm going to go through how I actually prepared CMOS for myself and some of the experiences I found along the way. So the reason I'm doing this is because so many people in the previous video said that making CMOS is such an easy thing to do, CMOS gel. You don't really need to, to, to pay someone to create the gel, it's such an easy thing to do if you have the, the right things around you. So I went out and I made sure I had all of the little ingredients and the little utensils that I needed. I bought the wildcrafted CMOS, half a lemon, a bowl and mineral water and of course a mason jar to store it in. The first thing I did was I rinsed out the sea moss for one or two minutes under a tap just to get any debris out of there. After that I put the sea moss into the bowl and I filled it up to the top just to make sure that all of the sea moss was covered with mineral water. I squeezed half a lemon in there and then I left that to soak for 24 hours and that was the initial soak. After the first 24 hours I emptied out all of the water and replaced it with more mineral water with half a lemon again. And then I covered the top with um, cling film just to protect it from any, um, any dust or anything that may be floating around in the air. And then I left that for another 24 hours. And this is the bit where I had different opinions. After the next 24 hours, I emptied out half of the water and blended the rest. I blended it until it was very smooth. And after I had blended it in the Nutribullet, I emptied out the contents into a mason jar. And then we basically just need to get the contents into there. As you can tell, it's thick. <laughs> And that is pretty much how I made the CMOS. Now, a few things. I know that Dr. Sebi um, recommends that you use the purple CMOS. The thing is, I couldn't get hold of any of the purple CMOS. I don't know if it's a seasonal thing, if it's harder to get at this time of the year, or if it's just something that's harder to come by. But I wasn't able to get any of the purple stuff. So I'm going to continue searching. And for the next one, I'll probably use the purple CMOS. And another thing is this. I followed someone's advice on CMOS and I did search on Google how best to make CMOS and it did align closer to some of the things that I found there. I know some people say that you should boil the CMOS, but I felt that if you boil the CMOS, maybe you're taking out some of the nutrients in the CMOS and it might not be the best way of doing it. So I just decided to go with what I felt best. So it's now in the fridge being stored and I'm using it every day. One thing I've noticed compared to the CMOS gel that I bought previously is that the one that I made is a lot thicker. It still tastes the same and it still seems to give me the same results, but it's a lot thicker. So I'm thinking maybe I need to add more water from the actual soaking. Let me know what you think in the comments below because I'm not sure if, um, if I did that correctly. But as I said, this is my first attempt at making CMOS. So I do need to perfect my process quite a bit. But I think I did a decent job. Yes, it's a bit thicker than the stuff I bought online, but it's still decent and it still does the job. But for the next one, I want you to put in the comments below if you think I should have done anything differently or if there's something you do when you make your CMOS, if there's something you recommend that I try doing. So thank you for watching. That has been my video of how I prepared CMOS gel for myself. And as usual, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next one. Thanks.